So I've been on the internet talking about sneakers for the last like five years and one of the most common questions that I get is where is the best place to buy and sell sneakers? And it's one of those questions that never really has a solid answer because there are so many different ways to go about it. But today I've decided to find out. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm trying to find the best online marketplace to buy and sell your sneakers. Just to clear things up for anybody who's wondering, this video is not sponsored in any way by anybody. I'm just conducting my own personal, very non-scientific study about which sneaker online marketplace is the best. So really quickly, let me explain what we're gonna be doing and how this is all gonna work. So today, I'm gonna be buying the exact same sneaker in the exact same size from three different websites at the exact same time. And the three websites that I've chosen to buy these sneakers from are StockX, Goat, and eBay. Now the reason I've decided to buy sneakers from just these three websites and not places like Flight Club or Stadium Goods is because these websites are online marketplaces and not consignment stores. Meaning that the way that these websites work is that you're actually buying a sneaker from a third party and not directly from the website. And the way that that works, if you're not familiar, is that whenever you buy a sneaker from a third party seller on one of these websites, they actually ship the shoe to the website first, who then legit checks it, repackages it, and then sends it to you. So these websites essentially work as a facilitator and a middleman. And in theory, this should guarantee that you're getting the best selection possible and also guarantee that you're getting authentic sneakers. So although there are seemingly endless ways of actually buying and selling sneakers online, I picked StockX, Goat, and eBay because these are the largest players in the game and the ones that people go to first. So my plan is, I've got my laptop right here. I'm gonna screen record and show you me buying a sneaker on these three websites. And like I said, I'm gonna be buying the exact same sneaker from each one of these three websites just to make sure that there are as few variables as possible. Now the sneaker that I chose is the 2020 Air Jordan 4 Fire Reds in a size nine. And the reason I chose this sneaker is because one, I have this exact sneaker from Nike, so it's easy to legit check. Two, because it's a newer release and a lot of people should have pairs available, so it's not too expensive. And three, because this is one of the most popular and best selling sneakers on all three of these websites. So this is a shoe that a lot of people will be looking to buy. So I'm going to buy this shoe from all three websites. And then once I've got all three pairs in hand, I'm going to talk about the shipping times, the quality that they came in, whether each shoe is legit, which it honestly should be. And then in part two, I'm actually going to sell back these sneakers to the original websites that I bought them from and make sure that they pass authentication and see what kind of price I can get for them. Now, personally, I use some of these websites more than other websites. And that's for different reasons that I'm not going to get into in this video. I'm going to keep my own personal opinions out of this to keep this as objective as possible. But with all that said, let's go buy some sneakers. So the first website that I'm gonna buy these Fire Red 4s from is StockX. And usually when you're on StockX, you have to search the shoes that you're looking for, but because the Fire Red 4s are so popular, they're on the most popular list. So I'm gonna click them right here and see how much they're going for in a size nine, which is the size that I'm gonna buy. So obviously right now, it looks like the lowest ask for a size nine is 243 bucks. Let me see how much that is with shipping. So the total after adding these shoes to cart on StockX is $264 dollars and 24 cents and the reason for that is because they're charging a seven dollar and 29 cent processing fee and a 13 dollar and 95 cent shipping fee so price wise that's kind of what i was expecting on StockX, and i actually think it's going to be very similar on the other websites but before i check out in StockX, i'm going to get all the other carts set up so i can check out at the exact same time so the next website i'm going to is ebay and of course they've got their brand new sneaker authentication service run by SneakerCon. love SneakerCon; they're all good guys i'm not using the SneakerCon app because i think they're kind of prioritizing ebay over that app right now and I feel like it wouldn't really be fair to do that so that's why I'm just going with these three companies and not including sneaker con but let's go see um, if we can find fire red fours pretty easily let me see oh right there ta perfect okay so let's search for a size nine so with eBay there's obviously a lot of different options because there's a lot of different sellers and of course you've got a ton of different pictures and so you can actually see the shoes that you're buying which I think is a plus overall but I'm actually gonna go to lowest price now it's not as streamlined as something like StockX where you see the lowest price first. This one you actually have to select it, which, you know, could go either way. Now what seems to be the lowest price is this one right here for 230 with $20 shipping. Ooh, that's 250. Okay, it's still cheaper than StockX, but actually because that one is $20 shipping, if I go for a slightly more expensive one like this one right here for 234.99, the shipping is actually $8.70, so it's a little bit cheaper and uh, I think I can actually get it cheaper overall. So let me add this to cart and see what we're looking at. Okay, so the total on eBay is actually pretty significantly cheaper than it is on StockX. The total is $243.69 because the price of the shoe is $234.99 and the shipping is $8.70. So that's not bad. And I think I'm actually gonna cop this one. Okay, so the last website that I'm gonna buy from is goat.com, which is also the goat app. And again, it should be pretty easy to find these shoes on the website because they're such a popular pair of sneakers. I'm not gonna go in depth about the interface of each one of these websites because it changes on a pretty regular basis. But I will say that I think I can find them on the front page. Let's see what the prices are for a size nine. 
Okay, so they have instant ship, which is a good thing. I'm not really gonna talk about it right now because you can't really compare it to the other websites because none of the other websites really have that feature or at least a streamlined version of that feature. So what I'm gonna do is find a size nine, see how much it is. It looks like it's 253, which is the best price, which has a seller shipping it to Goat and then shipping it off to you once it's been authenticated. Of course, you can get instant ship. It's a little bit more expensive, but you get it instantly. So that's kind of a plus there. It's brand new, it's a size nine. Let's see how much it is after shipping. So for the buyer, there's no processing fee like StockX has and eBay doesn't have one for the buyer but it does have one for the seller. I'm assuming that Goat also has one for the seller but it looks like the only fee that we're going to pay on top of the $253 is a $12 shipping fee which makes the total of this shoe $265. So that actually makes Goat the most expensive service at $265. StockX is $264.24 so it's not that much cheaper but it is a couple cents cheaper and then it looks like as of right now eBay is the cheapest with authentication at a price of $243.69. So you're still guaranteeing that the shoe that you're gonna get is gonna be authentic and you're saving like 20 bucks. So what I'm gonna do now is order all three of these sneakers on all three of these sites and of course try and order them all at the same time which is gonna be really difficult but I can at least do it within a couple seconds of each other so it's as fair as possible. It's currently December 8th, 2020 at 12 p.m. Eastern time. That couldn't have worked out any better for me. And the only thing I can really see going wrong in this experiment is that because we're around Christmas time and the holidays, shipping could get delayed but I'll see you guys in a couple seconds and probably in a couple weeks when these shoes actually come in. So, as you could probably tell by my beard and also the scratch on my face, it's been about a month since I filmed the first part of the video. It's now officially January 2021 and all the packages that I ordered back on December 8th are finally in. Now to be fair, these packages did come in before the end of the year, but there was one straggler that took until like December 30th and by that point it was already New Year's and I was just busy with other stuff. But now, on January 4th, we can open up these packages and see what we've got inside. But before we do that, I want to let you all know what order these packages came in and what days they came in on. So the very the very first package that was delivered was delivered by GOAT on Monday, December 14th, which was only six days after I ordered it. Now what's interesting about this package in particular is that this shoe actually came from Hong Kong and was delivered by DHL. Now I know there must be some people watching right now who are already starting to type, oh it came from Hong Kong, delivered by DHL, it must be fake. Well that's definitely not the case. GOAT does have a warehouse in Hong Kong, I've ordered a bunch of sneakers from that particular warehouse and they've all been legitimate, so I'm not worried about the authenticity of this sneaker. Now with that said, the reason I think this shoe came in so quickly in just six days is because I don't think anyone actually shipped their shoe into GOAT to be authenticated first. I think GOAT just had pairs available and shipped me their first pair they had available. Which is interesting because that's exactly what GOAT Instant Ship is. They have pairs already on hand that have already been authenticated, and when you buy them from GOAT, they just ship them directly to you. So I guess in a way, I got GOAT Instant Ship service without paying GOAT Instant Ship prices, which was kind of a plus in my book. But now let's open up this package. I've had this sitting in my house for about two weeks at this point. Shout out to GOAT for the insanely fast shipping. Let's see how the shoes look. Packaging is of course pretty simple, pretty nice, just a standard box with brown tape. Inside the box, we've got not too much packaging securing the shoes in there, just kind of a piece of paper that's crinkled up. Pretty standard though. And then the actual shoes themselves. Here we go. So here's the box. It looks pretty standard. Nothing crazy. You've got your uh, Jumpman logo on the top. You've got your splatter print on the side. There's no major visual damage to the box. Nothing crazy. I mean, it's kind of pressed in on the top, but that's just how every Air Jordan 4 box looks. You've got the size tag right there on the front, which looks fine to me. But let's open this guy up. So it looks like the first thing that you get is a GOAT sticker to promote their brand for you. And then um, you also have a GOAT verified card which shows the different areas that they checked on the sneaker and the quality control and things like that. They punch out the different areas that it passes. Usually if you buy a sneaker from GOAT, it should, I would assume, come with all the holes punched. Because I mean, I guess they shouldn't be selling the shoe if it doesn't pass all the inspections. But here are the shoes themselves. You've got a brand new pair of Air Jordan 4 Fire Reds. At first glance, Look totally fine. <laughs> I actually do have my pair of Nike Fire Reds right here, which I ordered off the sneakers app. You guys can compare them right here. I mean, they look very, very similar. I'm definitely not a legit check expert, but looking at these two shoes side by side, they look very, very similar. I don't see any noticeable flaws. It looks, I mean, it looks totally fine, to be honest with you. Not seeing any issues, not seeing any manufacturing problems. A lot of times, Nike shoes, because they create so many of them, will have some sort of flaws on them. But let's compare it to the other shoe in the box. Sometimes the, uh, the soles don't always line up perfectly. They look fine. No issues. Nice. Okay, so it looks like GOAT sent us a legitimate pair of sneakers in an insanely fast turnaround time, which is pretty impressive. 
So now I'm gonna put this pair off to the side and make sure that I know it's the GOAT pair because when I resell this pair, I want it to go back through GOAT to make sure that they can double authenticate these sneakers. Okay, so next up, we've got the pair from StockX because this was the second pair to come in. So this pair came in on Friday, December 18th from UPS, which is exactly 10 days after I ordered this pair of sneakers. And that's pretty much exactly within StockX's delivery window, so it's pretty standard service. Okay, so off the bat, you've got some slightly different packaging and it looks a little bit better than goats. You've actually got some very small bubble wrap or bubble squares. I don't know what to call this, but that's actually not bad. I like that a lot, I'll reuse that personally. Um, and then inside the box, we've got another pair of Air Jordan 4 Fire Reds. Now this pair, first off, seems to have the, the suggested retail tag still on there because this can be ripped off. The goat pair didn't have that. And then other than that, the box looks I mean, identical. <laughs> there are some very small like creases in the box, but it's actually in slightly better condition than the goat pair was. But there's a size tag for you if you're a stickler for that sort of thing. And then let's open up this box and see the sneakers inside. Okay, so first off, you get a receipt, which has my address on it, so I'm not gonna show you guys. But uh, you get a receipt with your order number from StockX. It tells you the price that you paid, the condition that it's in, and the sneaker that you got. This all looks good. And then you also get a what is this? They sent me a postcard that I can use if I want to send someone a StockX postcard. Great, okay. <laughs> and then also a StockX sticker, very nice. Oh, and another big thing that I'm actually really impressed with with these two brands is that both of these sneakers came in well before Christmas. Like, I ordered these on December 8th, expecting them to come in honestly after Christmas, and they both came in before even the 20th, which I was pretty impressed by. So even with the Christmas rush, they still came in on time. So let's check out the sneakers, see how they look. Here is the first one. It's got your StockX authentication tag on it right there, verified authentic. Now I think I'm actually gonna cut this off when I send this back to StockX just to make sure that they don't think I'm just resending them a pair of sneakers, which I am, but I don't want them to think that. <laughs> to be fair though, a lot of fakes do actually come with this authentication tag, so you never know. Other than that, it looks really good. I mean, the shoe looks fine. No visible problems with it. Let me compare it to the, uh, the Nike pair really quickly. Even with manufacturing errors, they do look pretty similar which is good. Let me check out the other shoe inside the box. There we go. Now this was generally a pretty widely mass produced sneaker, so most people should have real pairs. Although there are fakes in the market, I think it's more likely for someone to have a real pair than a fake pair. But I mean, it all looks good. No issues. So StockX sent us a solid pair at a reasonable price and at a reasonable shipping speed. So no issues there, nothing special, but you got exactly what you paid for, which I guess at the end of the day is all you can really ask for. Okay, so the final package to come in was from eBay, which I actually was surprised by because last time I ordered from eBay, it came in in like six days, which was nuts. Now, unfortunately, even though I ordered this shoe on December 8th, I didn't actually get it in hand till December 30th. Now, to be fair, I've got to cut eBay some slack on this one because there were a lot of things that really held up this package and it wasn't even eBay's fault. The first thing was that, as you guys know, USPS had some awful shipping times. In fact, I ordered a package from Adidas at the beginning of December. It's now January 4th and I still haven't received it. And that's because it was going through USPS, which had just a horrible time with holiday shipping. Now the way that eBay works is that people can send it to eBay however they want, whether they want to send it through FedEx, UPS, or USPS, and of course people are going to pick the postal service because it's the cheapest. Now the person who I bought this shoe from actually sent this shoe off the day that I ordered it on December 8th, which is insane. They sent it off so quickly. However, it says here in the tracking that this shoe was actually held at the Flushing, New York post office for 11 days. And then finally on December 21st, it was delivered to eBay, and that was totally not eBay's fault. That was completely the post office's fault and I know it sucks because it's around the holidays and if you ordered the shoe from eBay you'd be kind of pissed because you wouldn't get it in time for Christmas but it's really not their fault. Like I said I still haven't received that pair of sneakers from Adidas and I ordered that on December 4th. However even though eBay got this pair of sneakers on December 21st they weren't able to ship it off until December 26th which again it makes sense it's around Christmas I'm sure a ton of people bought sneakers and like I said last time I bought from eBay about a month earlier they shipped it within the same day that they received it. So I really got to chalk this one up to being Christmas time and being crazy because I'm sure if the post office office hadn't held the package for 12 days, they would have sent it out a lot sooner. With all that being said though, I did not receive this package until December 30th, which was 12 days after I received the last package from StockX, so it did take the longest. Oh, and before I forget, the way that eBay actually sent this package to me was through FedEx, which was also having problems around Christmas time, so that probably didn't help either. But now let's jump into this unboxing, and the first thing that you'll notice is probably this eBay tape, which some people like, some people don't. I don't really care. The one thing that did kind of bum me out about this package is that it had this big dent in the side, which hopefully didn't affect the box underneath, but that kind of sucks. I don't think it's eBay's fault. I think it's either FedEx's fault or uh, the UPS store that was holding this package for me, but either way, kind of sucks. So here we go. Let's 
Let's cut this guy open. I just stabbed the package right there. That was not great. <laughs> So inside the box, it looks like instead of your uh, paper or bubble wrap, you've actually got these Uline air cushioning bubble mailers, which are fine. I think they provide about the same amount of cushion as the bubble wrap does. The box that the shoe came in is also significantly larger than the uh, shoe itself, which I guess is because they're trying to use a universal box size, maybe. But here is the Air Jordan 4 box. It all looks pretty good. There's not any crazy dents or damage. There's a couple scuffs on the side, but that's really standard. There is your eBay tag in the front, and then of course your size tag. All that looks fine. So let's pop open the top of these guys and see what we've got. Okay, so you've got your eBay card here that says, authentic without a doubt. Congratulations on adding another pair of sneakers to your collection. And one thing I really like about eBay is that they actually have an NFC enabled um, tag, which shows you what the shoes are and if they were guaranteed to be authentic, which they would if they had the tag on them. So let's actually pull these out and try that tag, see how it works. But here are the sneakers themselves with the eBay tag right here, which is actually zip tied pretty tight on the shoes. I don't know how I feel about that. I might scratch up the plastic, but it's not a big deal. When comparing them to the, uh, the Nike sneakers app pair, they look identical. No problems whatsoever. Very nice. Let's look at the other side of the pair. No manufacturing issues. Yeah, they look good. From a uneducated point of view, <laughs> they look good. Uh, but here we go, let's try this tag really quickly and uh, see if these shoes are in fact authentic, which they should be. <laughs> there we go. eBay. Authenticity guarantee. Air Jordan 4 Fire Red 2020. Authenticated on December 23rd. Condition new in box. Style number size. Very cool. And one thing I really like about this feature is that you can actually relist them right now from right here, which I may do when I resell these sneakers or I may list them as a brand new listing just to see how it is for people who don't actually have an authenticated pair. But yeah, very cool that they have this. This is a really nice way of authenticating your sneakers. You can see if someone switched out the tag. When I bought my first pair of sneakers from eBay, I thought that maybe the tag wouldn't work if you cut the uh, the metal wires right here. Turns out that's not the case. It still works even if you cut it off the shoe, um, but you can't reattach it to any shoes because it's got this interesting like Ziploc system. So. It'll still work after you cut it off. I don't know why you'd keep it, but you can if you'd like to. But yeah, they delivered a good pair of shoes, so shout out to eBay for that. Okay, so before we finish off today's video, I just want to go through some pros and cons of every service just to help you make a more informed decision when you decide to buy sneakers from any one of these services. But let's start things off with GOAT because that's the first pair of sneakers that we unboxed. So for the pros of the GOAT app, the first and most obvious is they had by far the fastest shipping times. I mean, it blew every other service out of the water, and in addition to that, if you really need the shoe, like next day, they do also have instant ship. So based off this experiment, I would definitely recommend GOAT if you're trying to get the shoes as quickly as possible. Some other pros, which I didn't really mention in this video, but are definitely pros, is that you can actually buy new and used sneakers from GOAT and they can both be authenticated by GOAT. And not only that, you actually have a pretty incredible selection of sneakers because GOAT is a pretty well-established brand. As for cons, GOAT's pair was the most expensive pair of sneakers in this experiment. Now to be fair, it was only a couple cents more expensive than StockX, but objectively it was the most expensive. Moving on to StockX, I would say overall it was a pretty average service. They did exactly what they said they were going to do. They didn't have the fastest shipping. They didn't have the cheapest shoe, but they shipped the shoe. It was authentic and that's all you can really ask for. The only real pro to StockX, at least based on this experiment, is something which I didn't even really talk about and that's that they had the best selection overall. They have the most sneakers and sell more than just sneakers. Now they don't sell used sneakers, which I guess is kind of a con because GOAT does that, but overall I would say that StockX has the best selection of not only new sneakers, but also other things like Cause, Supreme, and also PlayStation stations for some reason. And then finally, let's talk about eBay. The pros of eBay are pretty obvious. The first is that this was by far the cheapest pair of sneakers that we bought in today's experiment. Not only that, but you were actually able to see real pictures of the shoe before you bought it, which you can't really do on GOAT or on StockX. I mean, I guess you can do that when you're buying used sneakers on GOAT, but that's really technically a different thing. And then the final pro is that eBay definitely by far has the best authentication tag because you can actually scan it with your phone and make sure that the shoe actually lines up with the tag. But even with all that good stuff, there are still some cons. However, I I do think that the cons are really only because this is a newer service and it hasn't had as much time to grow as StockX and GOAT have. Now the first con is by far the slowest delivery. Now I think that's totally because of the postal service and not because of eBay. However, 
because they give you the option to use the postal service, it is kind of their fault. The second con, which to be fair is probably the biggest con, is that as of right now, they're only authenticating specific sneakers. They're only authenticating Air Jordans over the price of $200 and Adidas Yeezys over the price of $200. And not only that, it's only new pairs of those shoes. So even though eBay sells used sneakers, you can't get those shoes authenticated. And then the final con, which is something that eBay has always done, so I guess it's no surprise, is that even when someone sells you a pair of sneakers through eBay's authentication service, they still see your address. So even though they're shipping the shoes directly to eBay and not directly to you, they still see your address, which is not a huge deal because that's how eBay works in general, but it does kind of bother me, especially because GOAT and StockX just don't do that. But with all that said, I guess if you were going off purely pros and cons based on today's experiment, the winner would be GOAT. You get the fastest shipping, you get a great selection, you can buy both new and used sneakers, and they're all authenticated, and you have instant ship. But even though the results of this experiment seem to make GOAT look the best, it is possible that they just had the best situation in this case, and that eBay got kind of screwed over because of shipping time. So I would say that they're all good services, they all work, they all sent authentic sneakers, and you can get good prices on all of them. Honestly, I would just say buy the sneakers from wherever you feel the most comfortable, whether that's GOAT, StockX, or eBay, and make sure to check all of them whenever you're buying a rare pair of sneakers, because some places might have better prices than other places, and other places might have a surprising selection that you wouldn't expect. But with that, we pretty much wrap up the entire video for today. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on this experiment, and whether you'd like to see a part two where I sell these sneakers back to each one of these companies. So make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.